वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश थर्टी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सॉलिड स्टील शाफ्ट ए सी हैज अ डाई मीटर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली मीटर एंड इज सपोर्टेड बाय स्मूथ बेरिंग एट डी एन ई इट इज कपल्ड विद टू अ मोटर एट सी विच डिलीवर थ्री किलो पा किलो वाट ऑफ पावर टू द शाफ्ट वाइल इट इज टर्निंग एट फिफ्टी रिवोल्यूशन पर सेकेंड इट गेयर ए एंड बी रिमूव वन किलो वाट एंड टू किलो वाट रिस्पेक्टिवली डिटरमाइन द मैक्मम शेयर स्ट्रेस डिवेलप इन द शाफ्ट within region ab and bc the shaft is free to turn in its support bearing d and e so you can see this is shaft ac clear having diameter of 25 mm and it supported at smooth bearing at d and e and is coupled with a, a motor at c which deliver 3 kw power and turning 50 revolution per second at a the power is 1 kilowatt and at b the power is reduced to 2 kilowatt hour so you have to determine the maximum shear stress in region a b and b c so let's start with the solution since we have given the power of motor power of motor at c is 3 kilowatt clear and it is given that it is rotating at 50 revolution per second so we know that power is equal to torque into angular velocity so angular velocity is equal to 2 pi n so 2 pi into 50 revolution per second we'll convert it into uh radian per second we'll convert this into the answer will be in radian per second okay so power at this point c is equal uh, will is 3 kilowatt so from here you will get torque at c is equal to power divided by angular velocity so power is 3 kilowatt so 3 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 50 into 2 pi so when you calculate it you will get torque at point c is 9.549 newton into meter so tc is 9.549 newton into meter now you have torque at point c so you can calculate the torque at point a since it is given that uh gear a removes 1 kilowatt of power so we have total power is 3 while at uh, a we have 1 over 3 so torque at point a will be equal to 1 over 3 of torque c because power at point a is 1 kilo watt so you can just put the value 1 over 3 multiply by 9.549 and you will get torque at point a is equal to 3.183 newton into meter now you have torque at point a so we will move toward finding the shear stress at point maximum shear stress at eb and that is equal to torque into c divided by j so torque at in region eb this is the region eb clear this is the region eb so we have to take the torque at point a so torque at point a is 3.18 clear and what is c c is the radius of this shaft which is 0.125 i will put the value 0.0125 and j is the polar polar moment of inertia of this shaft which is equal to pi by 2 c4 radius power 4 so c is 0.0125 power 4 so when you calculate it you will get the maximum shear stress in region eb is equal to 
वन पॉइंट ज़ीरो फोर मेगा पास्कल इट विल बी इन सम पॉइंट वन पॉइंट ज़ीरो फोर इंटू टेन एस पावर सिक्स एंड देन यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इन टू मेगा पास्कल नाउ द सेकेंड पार्ट इज दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सीम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इन रीजन बी सी सो मैक्सीम दैट इज आल्सो टी इंटू सी डिवाइड बाई जे सो दिस इज द रीजन बी सी क्लियर सो यू विल टेक द टॉर्क एट पॉइंट सी ओवर हेयर दैट इज मैक्सीम सो दैट इज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव फोर नाइन सी इज ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो वन टू फाइव डिवाइड बाई जे विच इज़ पाई बाई टू सी पावर फोर and that is 0.0125 power 4 that will give you maximum shear stress in region bc and when you calculate it, it will be 3.11 mega pascal which is the answer of our second part and that was all about this problem 5-31 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching